What is going on everybody? It is Devin from Beard Code and I want to say welcome to anyone that is new here as well as say welcome back to any of my subscribers. I hope that all of you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy in the midst of all of this COVID-19 coronavirus kanono business that we've got going on. Whatever you wanna call it, I just hope it goes bye bye here very soon. Um, but nonetheless, we do have a review lined up for you guys today. So stick around, sit back, relax, and enjoy this review. What's going on guys? It's Devin with Beard Code. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video if you enjoy all things beard content related. The company we'll be reviewing today is none other than the Captain Stash. And before we go ahead and get into the products, I do want to stop and tell you guys a little bit about the company itself. So the owner, or should I say captain, of the Captain Stash is a really awesome guy named Clint. Him and his wife, as well as their two kids, live down in West Texas. And this company came about after Clint had had some products that he just never really felt were the perfect fit for him. So he decided to go ahead and venture out and come up with some products as well as a line of scents that he felt worked best for him. I do have three products to review for you guys today. I do have a one ounce oil, a two ounce balm, and also a two ounce butter in the Captain's Quarter scent that we're gonna go ahead and jump into for you guys. First up, we do have the one ounce beard oil for you guys, like I said, in that Captain's Quarters scent. So I'll go ahead and give you guys a look at the label and the art design of the logo there. Now, right away, I'm a huge fan of the artwork and the logo itself. I think it's really creative and really unique. Um, and it's far from the most kind of crazy, complex, colorful logo that we've seen on some of these labels on some of these different companies. But I think it does a really good job of representing who they are as a company. So. Um, I really do like their artwork on the label. Now, as far as the bottle itself, it does come with a dropper top, which I'm also a huge fan of. That's probably my favorite way to get the oil out of the bottle and definitely my preferred go-to when it comes to different top styles on these different beard oils. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of the label itself because it doesn't wrap around the bottle very far. So you guys can see there, there is a lot of empty space that's just not covered by anything. Um, I would have really liked to have seen a label that wrapped around the bottle more. And you could have done that by maybe including um, the different uh, ingredients as well as maybe a scent profile on the bottle itself now rest assured i did talk to clint the owner and he did inform me that they do have ingredient labels coming for all of the products here in the very near future so these products could look a little bit different here come soon but i really think that adding the ingredients will be not only a way to cover up some of that empty dead space but also i really like to see that on the bottle itself so it's a little bit nicer to have it listed on the bottle and not have to go back online to kind of see what carriers are in um, the oil itself. But go ahead and read off the carriers from my laptop over here for you guys. So in the oil, we have jojoba, argan, as well as grapeseed, and also essential oils and fragrance. So um, a pretty basic carrier blend there, not the necessarily you know most complex carrier blends on the market, but some really good solid oils that do a really good job of nourishing and hydrating the beard. Um, but they do a really good job just giving that soft feeling in beard. So it is on the lighter side of the oil. Go ahead and give you guys a look there. It does have a slight yellow tint to it. Like I said, it is on the lighter side of the scale when it comes to oil thickness. Um, I tend to prefer the medium oils. A little bit better i feel like they work a little bit better in my beard so i do prefer those castor oils um, and stuff like that in the oil blends but this one actually felt absolutely amazing in beard and i'm a huge fan of it especially for it being one of the lighter oils so this scent is also really complex and something i'm a huge fan of it is a more calm scent but very complex at the same time um, and so for this scent it says that there are notes of jasmine italian bergamot vanilla bourbon scotch whiskey cigar cedar wood leather and musk so you guys can kind of see that there's a lot that goes into play with this captain quarter scent um, but it all plays together really really well and creates a really complex and unique scent um, and definitely isn't something i've smelled before so um, out of bottle you definitely get that leather um, as well as a little bit of jasmine and kind of like that citrusy bergamot smell in the background, um, which I really, really enjoy. You do also get a little bit of sweetness to kind of round some of that off. And I think that comes from both a combination of the vanilla as well as the whiskey. Um, I think, you know, the bourbons and the whiskeys kind of add a little bit of sweetness there with the vanilla that plays really, really well with the leather. I don't get a ton of like the cigar or the cedar wood out of bottle, um, but in beard, after you've kind of warmed it up in your hands and gotten it in beard after for a while, 
um, I do get a little bit more of that musk um, than I get originally out of the bottle. So, like I said, really complex scent, but also one that I'm a really, really big fan of. Next, we'll go ahead and jump into the two ounce butter. Um, it does come in the black metal tin here. Um, and it's not a screw off top, um, it does just pop right off. I like the screw off tops a little bit better just um, to kind of keep the product safe if you drop it. You don't have to worry about like the top popping off or anything like that, but um, maybe that's just me stretching a little far there. Um, so you guys can kind of see that texture there on the butter. It is a whipped butter, um, and it does feel absolutely phenomenal in beard. Go ahead and give you guys a look here. You guys can kind of see, it's definitely a light, creamy, and just overall airy butter. Um, so it's gonna feel really, really light in beard. With these whipped butters, they do melt um, pretty much on contact. So as soon as you guys get that on your finger, or in hand, it's gonna to start to melt down really, really easy and really, really fast. So I'm a huge fan of this butter. It did leave my beard feeling really, really nice, really light. Um, I did use this butter both during the day as well as at night. I think I would use this a lot more at night. Um, it doesn't provide a ton of hold, which is completely fine. Um, with the whipped butters, I actually prefer that they don't give me hold because I like to use them at night, so I don't have to worry about what my beard looks like. I just want to wake up and feel really, really nice, um, soft, and just, you know, nourished throughout the night. So this butter did an awesome job of that. As far as ingredients go with the butter itself here, we do have shea butter, mango butter, sweet almond oil, and jojoba oil, along with the essential and fragrance oils. So it's far from the most complex ingredient base that we've seen with some of the other butters in the game, but the ingredients in here do a really nice job of leaving your beard feeling nice, soft, and nourished throughout the day and or night whenever you choose to wear this butter. So I'm a huge fan of this butter, um, and it's definitely something that I plan on wearing again. Last up, we do have the two ounce beard balm here. Again, comes in the black metal tin with a nice pop off top here. Um, and this is my personal favorite of the three products and definitely the star of the show for me, which is pretty crazy because I'm not typically a balm guy. I tend to only really rock balm every once in a while um, and really just for the sole purpose of kind of maintaining some of those flyaways, keeping those down and just calming down some of the craziness that comes with this luxurious man man that I've got going on here. Uh, but this was by far my favorite product of the three. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of that balm missing there. Again, a really nice and smooth, creamy product here. You kind of see how nice and easy that comes out. Nice and effortless. Um, and the ingredients for this balm are shea butter, mango butter, beeswax, jojoba oil, and then again, those essential oils and fragrance oils. But again, this balm smells just like the oil and just like the butter. So I absolutely love it when they match perfectly. I don't wanna to have to worry about smelling any of like the carriers or the beeswax in the balm. So this was absolutely spot on for me um, and definitely my fan favorite. Now this balm isn't going to be a super heavy hold balm. Again, beeswax does fall third on the ingredient list. So it is going to be more of a light to medium hold when it comes to the balm itself. Um, Man, um, and that's completely okay with me. Um, I tend to not really prefer any of those heavy hold bombs. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, but this bomb did an absolutely amazing job of conditioning and nourishing my beard throughout the day. So when I did wear this, it was during the day and it just left my beard feeling absolutely phenomenal. It left it feeling super soft, nice and nourished. Um, and like I said, did an awesome job of conditioning my beard throughout the day. So this was by far my favorite. Um, if you're not a huge balm fan, I would still recommend checking out this balm because like I said, it's going to do an awesome job of conditioning and nourishing your beard throughout the day. Last thing, I just wanted to go ahead and hit you guys with the prices for each of these three products real quick. Um, I will go ahead and leave a link to the company's website down in the description below if you guys are interested in checking out this company at all. So the one ounce beard oil is going to run for $11.95 on the Captain Stash website. The two ounce beard balm is going to run for $13.95 and the two ounce whipped beard butter is going to run for $15.95. As of right now, they do only have an oil and balm combo listed on their website. That's going to run for $22.95. But again, I did talk to Clint, the owner, and he did inform me that they are planning on bringing a trio combo in the very near future to their website. That's going to be the oil, balm, and butter included in whatever scent you would like. That's going to run for $36.85, and again, that is coming in the very near future. So if you guys are interested, I would highly recommend checking out the Captain Stash. They are an absolutely phenomenal company with some incredible products and some scents that I really think some of you guys might enjoy. So like I said, if you're interested, go ahead and check out that website down in the description below. 
Thank you guys again for stopping in and checking out the review of the Captain Stash. If you guys haven't done so already, let me know down in the comments what you think of not only this company, but also this video. And consider hitting subscribe if you haven't done so. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then, don't forget, stay fresh, stay clean, and never break beard code. I'll see you guys in the next one.